Hello YouTube friends! Today we are doing a get ready with me in case you couldn't tell by my very bare face. So I got this Itzy Quad Shadow Palette in my last Ipsy Glam Bag Plus box and so I thought we could create a fun look using the shades that are in this palette. So that is what it looks like. It comes with a little plastic protective um, screen on it. But so those are the lovely shadows. I feel like this is such a nice neutral palette to, and I think it would be great to create an everyday eye look with. So we're going to use that and so it's just magnetic so it opens up. I want to know, did you get this? If you get Ipsy, did you get this palette in your last one? There were several different variations and I got this one with this nice peachy tone in it and there was one that was a lot more gray sort of purpley undertoned um, palette as well. So let me know if you got the same one as me. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. In case you are new here, I just want to say hi, my name is Meredith and welcome to my channel, Mare of All Trades. Let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do, because I just feel so unbelievably bare, is I'm actually going to put a little blush and contour on. And I know for a lot of people that might be a little backwards. I know a lot of people do the eye look first. But I like to have a little something on my cheeks because I always feel so pale and sort of dead looking without it. So we're going to go ahead and grab a blush brush. This is the Luxie 660 Precision. It's actually a foundation brush, but I actually like it better for blush. So we're going to go ahead and give a little life to my cheeks to start out with. And then we'll create the lovely eye look. So how have you guys been doing lately? I thought I would film this video first since I have to put on my face anyway. And then I'm actually gonna be filming a Target haul and I'm not sure which one I will post first. I don't know, I might do the Target haul first. So we'll see. Um, it will just depend but I need some videos and I had to take my boys shopping for new pants because my middle child has destroyed the knees of just about every pair of pants he owns. Like, I think he literally has five pairs of jeans or pants, sweatpants, that have holes. And we've really been trying to keep less in the house as far as like clothing goes and really only keeping, especially for the kids, what they're actually going to wear. I mean, you know, an eight-year-old boy, how many pairs of pants does he need? Which is all well and good until he rips the knees out of all of them. So anyways, there we go. That is much, much better. I feel alive. <laughs> So are you the type of person who wears a lot of blush or are you the type of person who just really doesn't wear it? I know there are always people on both sides of the fence on that one. There we go. That looks good. So I did find some really great stuff at Target, so I'm excited to kind of show you guys what I ended up getting. Do a little bit of this. I'm using the trio of blush and um, sort of shimmery... For me, they're shimmery blushes, <laughs> but for someone with a little bit darker skin tone, they're more like highlighters. So we're just sort of using it as a highlighting blush topper on the top. So that is that. This is also something that I got in an Ipsy. So I like to try and actually use up most of the products that I get in these Ipsy bags and Ipsy glam bags, because after a while you do start to get a lot of makeup. Okay, so there is step one. We are going to do just a little bit of bronzer. This is also something that came in a recent Ipsy along with this complex culture brush, which I have to say I've really been loving the quality of. So I don't do like super heavy contour, but I do feel like it does make a difference. up in the hairline. So trick for me to you, I pinned my hair back. <laughs> um, simply because I had one piece of hair that was just being stupid and I didn't want to pull out my curling iron to curl one piece of hair. So I decided to just pin back that side and go with it. It's funny, I'm filming on my phone, which I always do. That's what I film with. I don't have a fancy camera yet. <laughs> and uh, as I'm filming this, 
<laughs> all of a sudden I couldn't see myself because there was a notification because Kayla just uploaded her stitch fix. <laughs> So, hi Kayla, <laughs> I'll be watching your video when I'm done filming. So anyways, there we go, I'm bronzed. As bronzed as I care to be anyways. Alright, so now let's break into this palette. So again, it's the Itsy one. And I'm going to start out with a fluffy brush, and I think I'm going to take this lovely peachy shade here, and give it a good old swirl. I do feel like you get a decent amount of kick up with this palette, but I've really been liking it, and I do like this shade. I've actually worn a look, this look, or something extremely similar to it in a lot of videos recently. So I'm sort of taking it up a little bit higher. Sorry if I'm not looking at you guys as I'm doing this. But I've really been liking it. I feel like it is such a great everyday um, shadow look. And I feel like this palette really does go pretty well with my skin tone, which is nice. Do you guys look at the spoilers? Do you guys go and do add-ons to your Ipsy boxes? I'm curious. Do you get Ipsy? Do you do add-ons? And if so, what did you add on this month? I added on some stuff. They had some really good add-ons this month. I feel like I say that every month. I just have an add-on problem. I have a FabFitFun add-on problem, and I, <laughs> I have an Ipsy add-on problem. I do feel like these shadows build up pretty well. What do you think? There, that looks good. Alright, and then I'm going to take a much smaller, um, more detailed brush, and I'm just going to dab it into this dark, sort of a taupey, brownish shade. And I'm going to bring it in the crease just a little bit. I don't want to go nuts with this, especially because after I'm done filming, I'm going to sit on the couch and watch YouTube videos. So who have you guys been watching lately? I'm always interested to find new YouTube channels and YouTubers. So if you have a favorite YouTuber that you guys have been watching, I would love to hear about that. I do watch a lot of Georgia Sunshine and I watch uh, Life of a City Girl. Her name's Alex. I tend to watch Alex every morning. I have my coffee with Alex and she usually, she's an East Coast gal and so she usually posts her videos I'm guessing probably 6 o'clock my time, 7 o'clock Eastern time would be my guess, but her videos are usually up when I wake up, <laughs> or shortly after, or they're up by the time my kids get on the bus, and so then I get to have my coffee and watch her video. So I'm mainly just keeping it in the corner, I'm not taking it too far in. And then just... Swiping a little bit, and then I'm going to take the brush I used on that peachy shade and just sort of soften anything out that might be looking a little bit harsh. So that's what that looks like. And I'm also going to take that dark shade, and I'm honestly, I'm not even going to add any more product to it, and I'm just going to go had to stop talking and focus um, on the bottom lash line there just to smudge it out and then I just really gently take and I just want it to be ever so subtle under the eye I don't want like a really dark smoky eye effect and then I'm just gonna use my nice color switch which I, which I have been loving I got this in FabFitFun the winter box which I was really happy with, I have to say. And then I think I'm just gonna take this nice light shade here, and I'm gonna use that same brush while it still has a little bit of that peachiness. I'm gonna go into the inner corner, as sort of like an inner corner highlight. It's a nice bright shade, and you could absolutely just like, if you wanted to do something even more simple than this, you could absolutely use this all over the lid and that peach color in the crease and do like the most basic, super easy, but really pretty eye look with that. 
We could take a little bit up here. And voila. And actually, I think one thing that I've been doing is I did get this Bare Minerals Dewy Dew Mist Setting Spray. And I've been using it, I don't usually use setting spray like all over my face, but I will use it to spray like on my brush. And I really do want to just like make that lighter shade really pop. So I'm going to actually use the mirror in my palette here real quick. So I can see what the heck I'm doing. And really bring out the shimmer of that shadow. Yeah, there we go. I like that. So see the difference there? I feel like it really just adds a lot. And then I'm gonna go again, same brush, same shade, other eye. I'm bringing it about, mm, about two thirds of the way across the lid. And then right in the corner. There we go. And that is what that looks like. And now I'm going to use some of the big, most your big mascara, which I've absolutely been loving. I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera so you don't have to watch. So to start this look off, I did use the Tarte Tinted Moisturizer, which I have talked about many times, absolutely love, and this is the base that I use on my face almost every single day. And then I had also used some of the Instant Age Rewind Eraser, really like this. I took that under the eye and a little bit like right around the edges of the nose where I tend to get a little bit red. So those were my base. That's what the mascara looks like. And the finished look. Sometimes I will use a little bit of eyeliner. Right now I have been using the, I didn't use it today, but I've been using the Tristique eye pencil that I got in a FabFitFun box and I like it. It's just a nice good old pencil where you can twist it up. I feel like it works very nicely and I've been happy with it so far. So I haven't been opening a lot of the other black eyeliners that I've gotten in different subscription boxes because I'm trying to use that one up first. And then the Anastasia of Beverly Hills. This one is the Espresso, um, is the name of the shade. It's the Tinted Brow Gel. So we're going to fill in my brows just a little bit. Again, I don't like to go crazy. To be honest, I need a brow wax. <laughs> but I'm doing that this coming week. So I'm trying to let any and all hairs grow in so that they're long enough to really wax well. Do you guys wax your eyebrows or do you tweeze? I do a combination of both, but there we go. And then of course, last but definitely not least, we need a lip color. So I pulled some lipstick shades and I thought got two that um, I like. One is extremely high-end expensive and one is good old drugstore. So I have Milani. I'm going to swatch these and we'll see which which one we like better here. So I've got the Milani. That would go well with this look. We've got the Charlotte Tilbury Very Victoria. That's what it looks like. I might have worn both of those with the look. So that's the Very Victoria over here. And then I also have the Smashbox Babe Alert, which is more of a liquid lipstick. I think this one might end up being a little pinkier. Yeah. So I think probably not that one, but it's nice. So Babe Alert, <laughs> Very Victoria, and the Milani um, Naturally Chic is what it's called. So as you can see, they're super different. But I think I'm actually gonna go with the Milani shade today. And here we go. Voila. 
<laughs> there it is. So, do you have a favorite lipstick brand? I always am interested to try new lipsticks. Um, so if you have a favorite brand that you really love or a specific shade that you really love, definitely leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you um, and what you think or what you are liking and recommending. So that is everything and now I'm going to film a Target haul. I will talk to you soon guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Bye!